morning all hope I, you are hearing me viji can you give me a check yes, sir we can hear you sir yes sir good morning sir good morning dr deera how are you fine sir thank you thank you for joining with us actually yeah. <laughs> so for those participants i welcome you for this the first of the series of the 3 or 4 seminars wherein we will be briefing about the scope of chemical engineering uh, as you know everybody is offer csc but it is not only csc other core engineering branches do have a very long term scope unlike the csc branches so uh, we took this initiative so that those who are who want to join not only in vit but also in other colleges as well as we just want to focus on the scope of the particular field so don't take this as a promotion for particular um, for vit or something so this is to give you an awareness about the chemical engineering among the core branches so with this introduction i welcome you all and uh, over to vijay lakshmi to brief about the program as well as uh, the introduction of the speaker sure sir. thank you sir so very good morning everyone who here like um, i can see there is 29 participants and the webinar is like a, we just have 11 o'clock to 11:50 it is been scheduled for a future opportunities in the chemical engineering and the uh, speaker mr dr Shri Shri Kumar uh, Behera, uh, sir has already been available here. I don't want to take a lot of time because we just planned like 11 o'clock to 11:40. Sir will take the presentation, and after the 10 minutes, we we can deal with the kind of uh, any doubts you have further regarding any anything whatever about the presentation or anything regarding the counseling or admission procedure. I'll be available in the chat box. Uh, so and uh, we all know that uh, VIT is uh, VIT all the eight eight subjects from the VIT which has been already ranked up from the QS ranking. Chemical engineering is one among it, and VIT holds like um, uh, the School of Chemical Engineering in VIT, which has already been holding a rank uh, Indian rank level of eleventh. So I don't want to take so much of time. Uh, so over to Dr. Uh, Shishi sir, so he can take you forward for the presentation and it will help you forward for this. So I uh, welcome everyone for the future uh, future opportunities in the chemical engineering. I request the student to stay for the whole day. So the whole day, as uh, director sir said that this will help you to take forward for the upcoming sessions that you can get to know more about the mechanical engineering. You need to know more about the civil engineering. Those are all upcoming sessions. Please stay over here. And if you have any doubt. Please stay calm. That we'll be having a last ten minutes for the chat and everything will be available with. Uh, so over to you, sir. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. The Ma'am, my PPT is visible, ma'am. Sir, no, sir, that we can't able to see your PPT. One minute. Hope it is okay now. Yes, sir. Now, now we can able to see, sir. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, good morning. Uh, Ladies and gentlemen, prospective applicants, and uh, those who have uh, qualified VIT triple E, congratulations to all of you. In this presentation, for 40 minutes, I will be scrolling through the opportunities that are available in the current market for chemical engineering students. The School of Chemical Engineering, shortly we call it as a scheme. It is one of the very old discipline or department in VIT. And uh, I take this opportunity to welcome you all to this small yet uh, very beautiful presentation to know about the scope of chemical engineering. So, Mr. Ross, can you just go into a presentation mode? Yeah, I'm in presentation mode. No, I don't think so. So, in presentation mode, full screen mode. Yeah, I yeah. Can see your tabs and all. So if you look yeah. at the bottom, there is a icon like a 
send you a photograph or press f5 here yeah i i did it sir is it okay now no no sir probably we'll have to just uh, unshare and reshare this yeah. one one second i'll do that So I would also like to welcome Dr. Muruganandam, the Dean of the Chemical Engineering Faculty. Good morning to everyone. Good morning, sir. No. Is it okay now, sir? No, sir. You have to select the screen where the presentation is there. So what you do, you first go to the presentation mode of the PowerPoint. Yeah. Then share your screen. That way, it will be easier. This is the entire screen or a window, sir? Entire screen, not entire uh, screen. Uh, you just press F5 in your PowerPoint. Mm -hmm. Then go to the Google. Okay. By pressing the Alt tab. Are you able to do that? Is it okay now? Yes, sir. You please go over. We don't want to be okay. still in this thing, but it's okay. Please okay. go over. Yeah, yeah. Uh, if you see chemical engineering products, you name any one, starting from uh, toothpaste with which you start your day, to construction materials, to paints, enamels, to beverages. You talk about anything, including pharmaceuticals, pulp and paper, soaps, detergents, cements, iron and rod. You talk about any nutraceuticals. Everything is all, this is all about chemical engineering. Okay. So you start your day with the chemical engineering and end your day with chemical engineering, which assures you that there are plenty of job opportunities for chemical engineers. I'll come to the placement record of the program, we take in chemical engineering VIT, why VIT chemical engineering is so popular among the students that I will be discussing. Before that, a brief about the School of Chemical Engineering and VIT program in chemical engineering. This school was started in the year uh, and the program was started in the year 1994. That means it is about 30 years program. And uh, in this limited period of time, this program has achieved so many laurels. If you see in India, as per QS ranking, it is its position is 11. The QS world ranking is between 301 to 350. Okay, as per the subject, the Times Higher Education (THE). Ranking is 501 to 600. Shanghai ranking, if you see, it is 401 to 500. We have a BTEC in chemical engineering program and PhD in chemical engineering program. Students strength around 550 with 20 PhD scholars. And we have students from different states and union territories. We have Slide. all. Slides is not moving, sir. Is it moving now? No. No. no? Yeah. Select the desktop. Can you see now? Yes, Professor, please go ahead. Yeah. So, to make this full screen, kindly click on the screen. Uh, right down side, sir. It will be completely complete. Your complete computer will not be showing. Only single slide will be showing, sir. 
can you see this slide on campus recruitment it is very very small sir mm -hmm. right right down side sir right side where we can increase the screen no, screen size no? there uh -huh. we can there we can click it will be full screen then mm, that and all i am doing on small computer type like screen is there click on that sir Sir, check your WhatsApp, sir. Now we can share. Sure. It's visible, sir. Yes, sir. Perfect. I'm scanning the screen. You proceed, sir. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so uh, I discussed about the rank, and then if you see the faculty profile, we have 24 professors, and uh, all the professors, if you see, 15 or 16 are uh, from uh, the IITs. They have done their PhD from IITs or abroad. Eight of them have their postdoctoral fellowships from different countries and from India with average experience of 10 years. And we also, to support us, we also have two urgent professors with us, Professor Meda Vengdes from University of Saskatchewan, Canada, and Professor Gangya from NUS Singapore. Next slide, please. Yeah. So, what is the USP of the program, BTA program in VIT Chemical Engineering? If you see diverse kind of uh, process industries visit us every year for on-campus placement, okay? Uh, starting from Reliance, Vedanta, and all the names that you can see, this is some sample I have put in. And likewise, so many companies, they do visit us every year. Next slide. And uh, the placement record, if you see, where exactly students are getting, that a job and what is the salary package? If you see Reliance Industries, this is the latest placement record in 22-23. Reliance Industries, Saint Gobain, General Steel, LNT, uh, Light, Arthur Energy. All these companies that you can see. In addition to core chemical industries, software industries, and other processory support service sector industries, they do visit us okay and students get placement over there so i have put 
the placement record of different years ambuja cement nara energy piramal pharmaceuticals wa wabatek uh, wa back then uh, tech science kpmg different kinds of uh, process industries supporting consultancy industries and uh, allied uh, service industries they do visit us every year you can simply scroll sir yeah you can see placement these are all some samples cap gemini if you talk about uh, software industries cap gemini accenture all these speed labs hit wicket all the students they are getting placed in all such a different industries so this is the placement record of 1920 you can go honeywell war back yeah galaxy subtract i told you different types of diverse industries are visiting us every year and uh, you can see next chat yeah so i have put up to 18 19 starting from 2020 uh, to 23 up to 2018 19 yeah as a career progression it is not only placement students also visit to different other industries for their higher studies if you see here this statistics talks about the percentage placement and percentage higher study in each year in each year so around 40 percent this is an average statistics around 40 percent of our students usually go for higher studies everywhere and the remaining 60 percent of the students get placement where do they go for their higher study this is some sample like university of uh, Carnegie Mellon University, Cornell, Cal Caltech, or Imperial, uh, then uh, University of Oklahoma, SLU in Sweden, Calgary, these kind of uh, Imperial College, these are the different universities where our students are going for their higher study every year. Next year. Yeah. What do we do? What do we do for the students? Those who are interested in higher study, those who are fast learners from the day one we train them okay to publish pub, uh, papers impact factor papers scopus index papers in highly peer reviewed journals so that they are able to get a birth in some renowned universities around the world so these are all the contributions of the students btec students you know which usually all the phd scholars usually do this is what we train our students, the BTEC students, to do in their BTEC four years degree. Okay, next set. Okay, these are some of the undergraduate research publications. One of the best practices of VIT and School of Chemical Engineering is undergraduate research publication. If you see, they have been able to pr pr produce papers or publish their research articles in a very high impact journals like this you can see 20 impact factor 15 more than 10 impact factor journals next okay it is not only placement giving getting placement and going for higher study students have also been able to incubate startups we have a dedicated startup cell here tbi technology business incubator in vit the students are also encouraged to participate, to get into this TVI and have their own startup. So they are not only the job seekers, they are the job creators. Next step. Okay. If you see those who are not able to go for higher study abroad, they can also do their higher study within India. If you see the recent statistics, Satvik Burma, he has qualified GATE 2022, whose All India rank is 8. And Gaurav Kumar, who qualified GATE 2020, whose All India rank is 95. So this GATE score helps them. This GATE score helps them not only for higher education, it also helps them to enter into any kind of public sector undertakings, CSR labs for their research, getting job into ISRO, all this kind of public sector undertakings. And to see what are the alumni, what kind of alumni this department, this school, this program has created, you can see some examples. Asis Priye, he's an assistant professor now, 
who is working as an assistant professor in University of Cincinnati. Dr. Jason, he is working as an assistant professor in IIT Bombay. Sonu Kumar, he is a captain in Indian Army now. Palas Pandey, who has established his entrepreneur. So this talks about diverse kinds of alumni that the school has generated. Prithvi Simha, you can see he can, he's working as a scientist. These are some of the examples I'm giving you, which in uh, SLU in Sweden. Similarly, Sriyan Saha, Asita, all these are different other uh, alumni who has brought laurel to the school and to the institute. Next. How is it possible? How we are able to manage all this, this credibility or the credentials achieved by the students? How is it possible? This is all possible by support, by through the support of a different infrastructure for academics and research that is available in the school. We have uh, several academics labs, research labs, process systems labs, smart classrooms, and uh, different laboratories as mentioned to support their learning, perpetual learning, learning for the life, lifelong learning. We have introduced different softwares that are required for their study like Aspen Tech, MATLAB, SOLIDWORKS, ANSYS, PROSIM, COMSOL, Kappa Reserve, or NMNT, like this. And they are also practicing all their works in different laboratories, like chemical reaction engineering laboratory, heat transfer laboratory, mass transfer laboratory, process simulation, process control, momentum transfer, membrane research, so on and so forth. Next step. Yeah. Essentially, we have uh, five different strong research groups in the school, namely collard and polymers, membrane separation, industrial ecology, mass transfer and separation process, process modeling and simulation. All these are centered around two thrust areas, separation technology and process simulation. We have, next slide. In all these research groups, we have dedicated professors who have been working on uh, different domains of these individual research groups. And our students support us and they learn from the expertise of our dedicated faculty members. This is the members of a collard and polymer research group. Next, if you see, we have the members from uh, membrane research group, Professor Velu and Professor Monas. Then we have dedicated research facilities, I mean equipments. We have uh, five members in industrial ecology research group, which is all about pollution control, research recovery, process integration. Okay. And next we have uh, mass transfer and separation process uh, research group, where we have seven faculty members who have been working uh, with the students. Then we have uh, process simulation research group, where we have also seven faculty members who are working on their domain expertise. Next, sir. Okay. Now, how exactly the students are going abroad for their higher study? If you see, we have a memorandum of understanding with the different universities abroad. These are some of the samples. Sir, so next slide. We have a collaboration with 30 universities, as you can see in all the countries, all the continents of the globe, starting from UK to Austria, Poland, Sweden, Hungary, Greece, Italy, Netherlands, USA, South Africa, UAE, Saudi Arabia, Middle East, Oman. Go to the next slide. Then in the East, Japan, South Korea, Singapore, Malaysia, Vietnam, Australia, Taiwan and China. So we have international collaboration with all these universities in different domains. With some of the universities, we are having joint collaboration for publication. With some industries, we have semester abroad program. With some universities, we have a student exchange program. With some universities, we are conducting some projects. Likewise, so we have international collaboration with different universities across the world. Talking about semester abroad program, the final semester of the four year program, students may opt to go other universities abroad. What are the uh, advantages? What are the advantages of going abroad? Suppose some student is interested 
to have higher study in some university abroad by going for this semester abroad program they can develop a rapport they can build some uh, reputation as a result of which they will be able to occupy one seat in the particular university with their credential by the virtue of their work the experiments the projects that they are doing over there they can impress the faculty members and they can uh, occupy a seat so this assures higher study and career opportunities in the universities abroad and for this program they don't have to pay any tuition fee or anything to the in institute abroad okay this is not mandatory for them to pay any extra fee in the university abroad next now if you see this is a list small list of students who have gone to abroad university abroad for their semester abroad program they have gone to united sorry um, singapore anyways they have gone to sweden slu they have gone to usa they have gone to south korea they have gone to japan so this is a small list showing different institute where our students have gone for sap next it is not only teaching in the school or teaching the theory classes or laboratory sessions in the uh, school but we have also strong industrial connectivity we invite the industry to the institute for several uh, guest lectures uh, conducting workshops like a conclave we call it as an industrial conclave and we take the students to different industries as a part of our curriculum every faculty has to take the students to different industries for practical exposure it is mandatory and we also invite faculty members to request and uh, get some guest le lectures from the industry okay industry uh, practitioners they will speak to our students they will interact with our students so we have very good industrial connectivity uh, with the uh, industries by our school okay next okay in addition to this we also encourage the students to develop their soft skills develop to enter into co curricular activities to do kind of presentation to do kind of extracurricular activities so we have three dedicated student chapters aice which is known as american institute of chemical engineers then indian institute of chemical engineers and spe society for petroleum engineers we have three dedicated student chapters and all the students participate in these chapters they have brought a different laurels for the school this aicche bit chapter this has uh, got so many uh, laurels in the past several years it has become outstanding student chapter um, uh, they have got this award uh, for several years in a row like four to five years similarly sp east society for petroleum engineers they have also got the outstanding student chapter for the last two years then next sir yeah these are the several student achievements and events organized by the student chapters you can see the numbers so how uh, passionate the students are in participating in all these activities you might be wondering why students should participate in all these things nowadays job is not only by certificate job is given based on the skill so if your academics is not very excellent but you are good at co curricular activities and extra curricular activities then also getting a job becomes easier for the students okay therefore for holistic development of students we not only focus on curricular academics curricular activities we also focus on extra curricular and co curricular activities so next yeah you can see how aggressive our students in participating in various extracurricular activities they have brought laurel to the institute in different forms okay next then our students through student chapters they also participate in various uh, social awareness social connectivity programs they go to different schools they participate uh, in various training programs they educate the students they participate in different uh, food donation programs they teach the students okay so these are the different kind of uh, social awareness programs now why i am talking about 
these uh, awareness programs, so extracurricular activities, co-curricular activities. See, in the last two years, sorry, 1919 to uh, 1920, sorry, 2019 to 2023, in the last four years, two of our students have become best outgoing students from across the entire universities where 40,000 plus students reside. Okay, we, our school, with 500 students in total intake, sorry, total strength, two of our students have bagged this best outgoing students award. We Sanjay, who got this award in 2015-19, presently he is pursuing his PhD in EPFL Switzerland. You might be knowing it is a very famous university. And currently, our student Jayadev Chetan Javri, he has got his admission in Cornell. This year only he has got this best outstanding student award. And how this award is conferred? This award is conferred to that student, him or her, based on the academic activities, based on his co-curricular activities, and based on his extracurricular activities. So we well-constituted panel decide or select the best outcome student from across the universities. That is how these two students have brought Laurel to the school. Next. So this is all about briefly about the School of Chemical Engineering, where we not only focus on teaching the students, we focus on developing a holistic career, a good career for the students wherein they can work, learn, and grow. So we usually say, if you work, you learn. And if you learn, you grow. That is how we train our students from day one until they leave the campus with a smile. So I really appreciate your patience in hearing to me. And I wish you all an interesting, challenging, and rewarding future. I am available. Our school dean, Professor Muruganandam, is also available. I am ready to answer any of your queries. Thank you so much. Professor, thank you, Professor. Yeah. Uh, so I would request all the students, aspirants who are available here. So thank you so much for the wonderful insight about the chemical engineering. And we got to know a lot about the chemical engineering and also the uh, internships and also how the student programs and everything works. So students who are present over here, if you have any doubts regarding the presentation uh, about anything regarding about the chemical engineering, please go ahead in the chat and start your queries. So they can also unmute and uh, ask questions. No? Ma'am, can they ask questions over mic? Yes, sir. I think they can unmute and they can also go forward for the same thing. Yeah, yeah. Please feel, feel free. How difficult chemical engineering as compared to computers? It is not at all difficult, if I say. But our focus is also on computer science and engineering. We have in VIT, you might be knowing, few courses are compulsory for all the programs like Java and Python, because some of the students are also going for software engineering job. Apart from that, we have several courses with computer science flavor like aspecting process simulation, computational methods in chemical engineering. Moreover, catering to the requirements of all the students, because many of the students are going abroad. So we have to train the students accordingly. So all the courses have got some computer flavor. But I would assure you, the teachers here are so strong, are so capable, they will make all the courses very easy and comfortable for you. At the end of the day, you have to see that you are so comfortable in getting the essence of the course. So there is no worry or nothing to be panicked that it is difficult. And chemistry and chemical engineering, you have to keep in mind, they are not same. Application of a chemistry is called chemical engineering. So how the basic knowledge, 
you need not have to be be very strong in chemist chemistry because the, that is the job of a chemist you have to be an engineer so how the essence of chemistry is being inculcated in engineering that is what is all about chemical engineering so no need to panic about chemical engineering it is very easy i would say and you will feel you will feel that i am doing something for the society at the end of the day that satisfaction will get so this is in essence i would talk about chemical engineering maybe professor muruganandam can add something if he wishes yeah yeah chemical engineering well, not only related to curriculum uh, to support uh, what is the latest uh, thing happening in the industry uh, we introduced uh, many revised uh, Uh, elective courses, for example, the students used to do. We offer uh, artificial intelligence in chemical engineering, data analytics in chemical engineering. So these are all like what I would say. That's what the future going to happen in uh, the manufacturing industries, the process industries, in chemical industries. So these are all been uh, students. Our uh, students have been trained uh, in these aspects also. Apart from uh, uh, what you say, like uh, programming language, uh, uh, Python. Our students have been good. They are good in uh, uh, Java, Python coding. Apart from this one, with respect to chemical engineering aspects, that's what we have been training. Yes, there is a very interesting question: whether chemical engineering is more towards physics or more towards chemistry. <laughs> okay, Chem see basic chemistry, physics, and mathematics. You know there are four mathematics courses for all the disciplines, more or less. Okay, without mathematics, there is no engineering. without physics and chemistry there are no there is no engineering and when you come to this chemical engineering we never teach more of chemistry we never teach more of physics okay we teach more of engineering so you need not to worry whether you are strong in physics then you should take chemical engineering or you are strong in chemistry you are supposed to take chemical engineering it is not like that so nothing to worry in that regard next question is super dream package whether chemical engineering students are eligible or not it all depends on you people have already got see uh, there are three types yeah. of jobs normal job then dream offers then super dream offers first you will get within 5 lakhs normal jobs after that you will be given opportunity to go for dream offers dream offers 5 lakhs to 10 lakhs suppose you get a dream offer then your normal job will be forfeited okay will be cancelled now after getting a dream of for 5 to 10 lakhs you are entitled or you are eligible to go for super dream more than 10 lakhs okay if you go to that interview and suppose you are qualified you are successful then you get that job and your normal dream uh, dream offer will be forfeited in case you are not getting that this job uh, super dream then your dream offer will be retained so all the students from across all the disciplines are eligible for dream offers and super dream offers there is no issue next question is what cgpa does a student require for uh, sorry i missed it okay sir actually for this case uh, uh, student h sir uh, program no for, for, i just want to share some more information Uh, see some students they also wants to learn uh, computer programming computer engineering okay we offer a uh, uh, one more uh, minor degree what you would say we take in chemical engineering with minor in computer science okay by extra they take additional uh, 12 to 18 credits so that uh, they are eligible for uh, minor in computer science so that's what happening we take in chemical engineering regular stream add on to that one if any students are interested to develop their skill in computer science they can get additional uh, minor degree in chemical engineering by by just uh, getting additional uh, uh, 16 credit that's what happens okay sir uh, for that uh, we need to pay some extra charge sir huh? No minor, minor in uh, the course registration only for those five courses we have to pay additional course registration fees. That entire uh, six courses being uh, a, a, like you can finish it first three years period. No, no. His question is whether they are going to pay any extra tuition fee. No, no sir. No, no, no extra tuition fees. That is an additional opportunity for the students to enhance their. skill 
market skill. So if the student is capable to earn some extra credits, they can register four to five courses to get some uh, 17 to 18 credits extra so that in their program it will be written be taking chemical engineering with minor in computer science. If but suppose not, they are not able to do that, then no problem. They can continue with BTEC chemical engineering. Okay? Sir, that is an add-on. That is an add-on. Yeah. The college helps us with internship. Yes. We, we have a very good uh, connectivity international like uh, network uh, with industries. Uh, yes, we'll arrange. Uh, mostly boys students prefer uh, uh, internship uh, in their hometown itself. Okay. So we'll prefer we'll connect them with the nearby industries. Uh, in case anything uh, like uh, uh, you want to do within Villur also, we have tie up with the nearby industries. We will provide support. Then, uh, uh, is it better to do a core degree or specialization in branch? Uh, it depends on you. It depends on you. Suppose I told you the same, uh, I repeat the answer. It depends on you. Suppose you are capable, you are able to complete all the 150 and or 55 credits to get your BTEC degree and you are also capable to complete another 15 to 20 credits within the same four year time period okay without sacrificing your CGPA then you can take and it is advisable it is beneficial for you I hope yeah. I am clear yeah. another one so what is the teacher student ratio we are uh, 1 is to 16 ratio we are and uh, our strength is, uh, that's why our, uh, at national level, our uh, QS, our uh, subject ranking is 11. As per the, uh, our, uh, yeah, QS ranking, if you go to subject ranking, uh, we stands when compared to all IITs, uh, our program subject ranking is 11. And then same way, NIR of ranking also we maintain with missing ninth. Uh, Next, uh, is the placement in mechanical engineering good? Uh, Maybe we have a separate ses uh, session, 3 to 4 o'clock. Mm -hmm. You kindly attend that one. The professors in mechanical engineering, they can give you better light. See, for our student, I would say about our chemical engineering student, uh, as I said, pointed, uh, 35 to 40 percent students will go for higher study. Even yeah. now, this semester, this year, 2023, was going to graduate. Uh, Two students are going to MIT and four students are going to Purdue University. Two students, that's one of the top universities worldwide is MIT. Okay, two students, they got an offer there in MIT. Yeah, there is a question. Does the chemical engineering course contain anything related to computer programming, Java, Python? As I told you, not only chemical engineering. <laughs> okay. To, to cater to the requirements. Hmm? One more also, I would say now the trend, uh, most of the time people have started using open source code. Okay. Whenever they develop, uh, utilize the open source code, for example, computational fluid dynamic simulation, we have, we have licensed software as well as we have been, uh, students have been trained to use open source code. Okay. This open source code on all uh, that they need the experience that the coding language, Python and uh, Java. So already in the second year, uh, the first semester and second semester, they have been trained on Python. Okay, they, it's compulsory for all the students uh, to uh, qualify this uh, Python, exposure on Python, uh, Java, and then MATLAB simulation. And we also have Aspen simulation tool. All students, uh, they have exposure on this tool, Aspen simulation. Which yeah, do. there is a question. Scheme is in VIT? Yes, scheme. The School of Chemical Engineering is only available in VIT Valor campus. We do not have a chemical engineering program in Chennai, Bhopal, or Amravati campus. Yes, coding okay. courses in Python are common across all programs. Yes, it's coding is common. We'll do it. So, I uh, just want to add to what Dr. Nurgandam and Dr. Behra were telling. So, not only the computer courses, but we also offer soft skills program. Mm -hmm. where you will get trained to how to tackle the uh, coding as well as other platforms to Excel, like maybe analytics or maybe aptitude test and all, you can just uh, uh, ace these tests with the help of these soft skills, which is also common across all the disciplines. There are like three soft skills courses wherein you are taught about uh, to deal with the competitive exams.
yeah there is a question uh what kind of industry there is something i saw which industries what is the nature of jobs for chemical engineers after btech which industries as i told you the industries that are visiting to our uh, campus include not this list is so exhaustive include reliance ambuja cement vedanta jindal power honeywell saint gobain hindustan unilever tata chemicals energy naira energy eco labs pharmaceutical industry like piramal exxon mobil these are some typical industries that visit us for recruiting our students yeah there is a question interesting again does chemical engineering has more scope as compared to computer and mechanical engineering what do you expect from my discussion i told you all our students are placed in process industries 50% of the students are placed only in process industries this is a great achievement okay and remaining 50% of the students on their own they go to software industry or service industries because of very starting lucrative salary okay it is not that they have not got the job in process industry they have got but because of the lucrative salary for example amazon they are getting around 15 lakhs 20 lakhs so they keep aside the core job which is a little bit lower on lower side salary is lower side and they go for service sector so now from this you can understand whether chemical engineering has more scope or less scope okay Uh, sir, I just want to add what Dr. Begara told. So now, nowadays everybody know about the Chat GPT, right? Yeah. So slowly, the code, for example, most of the coders or programmers need will be getting decreased over the years in the coming years. If you look at that perspective, the demand is going to decline. You might already notice the many of the MNCs are start uh, <clears throat> laying off staff. So I would say if you look at your a steady sustainable career that lasts for over 50 years you should choose chemical engineering or other core engineering branches compared to computer science computer science has a good package right now but that is not sustainable so that should you should also take it that into account yeah nice interaction any other question kindly feel free what is the highest package that has been offered in this course means uh, by the company what is the highest salary yeah to my knowledge up to last year it was 25 lakhs for btech chemical engineering any more questions See that our chapter student chapter are very active. That A S H I S H I S P E every uh, once in three months uh, we conduct uh, some national level event. It's all uh, it's all student student. Our student is student only. Yeah, and you can see most of the students they go for their higher study basically to Europe or USA. They go for their semester abroad program or uh, some uh, uh, other internships. to countries like uh, uh, japan korea singapore or malaysia but uh, rarely do they do their higher study in these countries except few students in japan most of them go to usa to top notch universities sir is it necessary to join the clubs to join the club class no within vit there are more than 83 club 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 no in vit there are more than 83 club chapter activities there okay uh, like uh, yes one of the chapter they have to join and uh, they will get uh, some credit it is our it is that okay he is not talking about chapters he is talking about clubs i guess uh, clubs yeah it is not compulsory but down the line when you join in vit you will feel that it is necessary though it is not compulsory you will feel that it is 
really necessary to join some clubs to improvise your soft skills okay we have around 100 100 plus clubs in vi Uh, do we get a cgpa score uh, from that tell me repeat yes what is is foreign university open for all students in gemiking in which uh, semester is it is allowed uh, yeah sixth semester onwards we they can apply uh, you are eligible so, what basically do you do we choose which chapter to join that's at all your own interest okay uh, sir question? just a question hello yeah please yeah uh, sir uh, does uh, club activities add on to a cgp or is it just for the uh, profile building which one a uh, club activity sir like what we will do in these club charter activities will they be adding in a cgp or is it just for our no it's a non credit and there is no like it's no no it's non credit programs okay but actually it's every students uh, uh, see it's like uh, uh, their own passion is there no every students has their own passion apart from teaching uh, or studying uh, other things no we we don't want to stop them we'll encourage them to participate in other activities Okay, we have major uh, two cultural event, one technical event, gravitas and Rivera is there. Well, uh, like institute wise, uh, we used to conduct. Okay, Samia, each club has its own requirements. Like it's mostly based on your activity and the interest aptitude. So you should uh, produce some evidence that you are interested in the club activities and should have some previous experience of dealing with the club uh, objective. So CGPA has no role in club selection or club activities. So one of the student, uh, he is a is a chess player. Now he is uh, uh, he participated in that uh, recent uh, Olympiad uh, World Chess Champion, and that's why we we encourage. Okay. Yes, I got it. Yeah, this is you can feel like this is an add-on. Very so good so campus. They so have very good so campus, yeah. lab facilities, uh, and another one I want to bring out to student. Uh, see in our campus uh, uh, teaching usually engineering colleges they have the practice like uh, 8 o'clock to 6 o'clock uh, like that but here uh, your lectures class, regular class session happens from more day time okay 6 uh, like 8 to uh, 5:30 like that but our students they will come after 9 o'clock uh, they do research up to 10:30 and our student team will be there okay that's what our strength the research culture is there in vit Okay, sir. Okay, we'll provide all support to the student. Yeah. Any other program is still able to join? Okay, that is fine. Yeah, there all coding, coding is all. It's common to you know. It's not a program specific. It's all common. Okay. Uh, Aksha Bank after which each category will be taking students uh, in or not mentioned. No, it's all based on a very rank basis and. Uh, Are these faculties are also available in Chennai campus? No, we don't have a program in chemi in Chennai. We uh, B Tech in chemical engineering is uh, only in Vellore campus. Sir. Yeah. Let's see. Sir, uh, you told that the research groups are there. The hmm. five groups. Do we have to select any of them, or we have to attend all? No, like no. It's it? your own interest. How can we force you? Okay. See, uh, curriculum-wise, training, subject, that's different. Okay. Research-wise, every student has their own uh, uh, like passion. I want to do research. I want to uh, come up with a particular area like membrane, energy, environmental simulation, like that. Okay. We have the platform provisions. And uh, the students will approach the concerned faculty, uh, and uh, like from the third semester onwards, they just started working on particular project. Okay, sir. Then when we will go there, we have to choose one. Yeah. Yes. We can yes. do that there. Okay. Okay. Thank you, sir. But Isa, everything is open for you. <laughs> there is no restriction. If you, you once you join VIT, you can see who are the faculty, what is their specialization, where exactly you have interest. 
in the second year itself you will come we will get some understanding of what is chemical engineering what is fascinating for you so you just mentor with those professors to work um, in some line like some research activities so nothing compulsory nothing in, there is no restriction no compulsion okay okay sir thank you So I just request the student to stick on the chemical related questions. So as I can see, there is a lot of admission and chapter related things. Please stay with us on the upcoming sessions like a civil engineering and mechanical. So we gonna we are going to be with you till the evening. So we can help you on the further thing. If you have anything specifically for the chemical related, please go and take a, the last five minutes opportunity to connect with the dean sir and also the professors available here. Okay, thank you for bringing out the future of uh, chemical engineering to the applicants as well as to the general public. Thank Dr. Begara and Dr. Muruganandam for joining this, this session. Thank, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank thank you. So, so any you. questions, uh, if you have, you can also send it by mail. Okay, we are uh, uh, happy to reply. Any queries? Sure. So with that, we will just go over to the civil engineering program. Dr. Mahindran from Civil will join with us shortly. So we'll take your break for maybe three or five minutes thank you thank you sir wish you all the best sir, thank you so much sir thank you sir thank you sir. thank you so much applicants yeah there was some question who is that what is the question somebody was talking uh, please raise your hand so that you can make your queries your voice is not that audible, uh, Miss Reddy. You just type in the chat box. Hello. Now there is some echo in. Your voice is not clear. So can you type in the chat box? So which rank will Bellur campus students are selected? That's the question. So as you know, the phase three involves from 45,000 to 70,000. So there are some who have not paid. So the rank will again vary. It might be even from a bit to under rank also. So we will not be able to tell exactly who are all selected. But this will be based on the rank. And when your turn comes, Whatever choices you are offered based on that, admission will be happening. Yeah. Uh, if category two is available, then it uh, will get allotted first, right? Yes, that's true. Based on the choice filling, availability slot being allotted by the system. So you should go from the lowest to the highest fee category. So select two first, then three, then four, then five. You cannot select three unless you select if two is available. Thank you. Thank you. So there is no number of choices limited. You can even give up to 250 choices. Theoretically, it is possible. There is no such campus. It's not possible. So candidates, I please request you to stick with the same questions regarding the chemical engineering or something like. So the admission related and something like will be available to help you back. So please utilize the professors are available from the chemical engineering. If you have something regarding the chemical, please go forward for that one. Okay, thank you. So we will just move on to the next session. Thank, thank, you. thank you, sir. Yeah, thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I would like to welcome Dr. Mahindran. Uh, good morning, sir. 
Uh, good morning, Dr. Magendran. Thank you so much for you and Dr. Shanti for uh, participating in this uh, uh, session. Uh, a little about uh, Vijay, you got the CV? Yes, sir, I, I got it, sir. Yeah, uh, please. Yeah. You please introduce Dr. Magendran. So thank you for the uh, welcome, Mahendra sir. Thank you for the very good patience that you have been waiting from last 15 minutes. And I know that you have been waiting from the last session also. I just welcome you for the session, sir. So uh, the session is all about the futures in civil engineering. So Dr. Mahendra is going to be the speaker for the whole uh, futures in the civil engineering that he is from the assistant professor, senior in school of civil engineering. And right now he is the head of the departments of environmental and water resource engineering. So his research area is inclusive of groundwater modeling, surface and groundwater interaction, and uh, hydrogeochemistry, GIS, and remote sensing. And Sir has done his lot of uh, research, and he has been having more than a 10 years of research experience and also over in academic areas. So I welcome you for the session, sir. A warm good morning to all. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank the uh, Director of Admission for providing this opportunity. Uh, now we will move on to a presentation. I hope my PPT is visible. Yes, Professor, I can go ahead. Okay, thank you, sir. Uh, now I am going to explain about the what are the career opportunities available in the civil, civil engineering. Uh, my presentation is I have been split into two parts. One is what are the uh, opportunities available for the civil engineering globally, and also what are the facilities we are having, what are the uh, academic experts, and what are the opportunities available in VIT. Uh, now we are having the three programs. One the first one is the BTEC civil engineering. Next one is the NTEC structural engineering and third one is the NTEC construction technology and the management. These are the programs offered in our school of civil engineering. And regarding this uh, world ranking, we are in the place of 501 to 600 in the D world ranking of our civil engineering. And also in our VAT has been accredited by the NAC, that is with the A++. And in the NRF ranking and the university, we are at the ninth level and research, we are at the 10th, engineering at the 12th and the overall ranking is at the 18th. Now, these are all the civil engineering specializations, uh, various disciplines. First one is the structural engineering. The structural engineering completely deals with the design and the structural analysis. And the geotechnical engineering is nothing about study about the properties of the rocks. And the construction engineering, it deals about with the, how the building has been constructed and what are the maintenance work has to be done on. And next, when we move on to the surveying, the surveying is about locating the buildings and also how the land area measurement, all this will come under the surveying. And next is the transportation engineering. This transportation engineering completely deals with the uh, laying of the roads and the bridges and the maintenance of the roads. And the next discipline is the uh, environmental engineering. In this environmental engineering, we will study about the quality of the water and the air pollution, all these things. What are the environment concerns? We will study in this environmental engineering. And next this is the earthquake engineering is a recent recent one which has been evolved. In this earthquake engineering, we will study about the how the seismic base has been transferred. All these things will cover in the earthquake engineering. And the water resource engineering is also again the part of the environmental engineering. Here we will again study about the water quality analysis in detail. And next is the municipal engineering. In this municipal engineering, we will study about how the uh, urban planning has been done. And final thing is the materials engineering. In this materials engineering, it discusses about the strength, what are the strength of materials or the properties of the materials. These are all the various disciplines of the civil engineering. And first I will tell why the civil engineering should be selected. Uh, as I briefed in the previous slide, it is the diverse specializations are the, the civil engineering. We have the diverse specialization. Uh, you can work on any of this field. Okay, everything which we are uh, in our day to day life, uh, we are using the roads, we are in the home or wherever you go, it is a part of the civil engineering. So it is a diverse specializations. You can choose any one of the specializations which we have mentioned after your degree and you can specially, specially work on that. 
and making a difference in the people's life. Uh, suppose if there is any uh, building has been uh, yeah, and under the detritus, detritus stage or it has been uh, distracted, something, you can repair the buildings, okay, so that you can make a very difference in the people's life. Uh, you have any uh, environmental concerns, if there's, uh, some lakes are polluted or the noise is polluted, you can work on that and you can help the society. And next is uh, high employment opportunities. Uh, 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 you can find out that yeah, infrastructure plays a vital role uh, in our uh, economic development of the country. Uh, so there are the high, high employment opportunities are available. Nowadays there have been small, small cities that the work is going on for more than 100 small cities in India. So you can get the high employment opportunities at that and you can get the good pay scale. And the fifth one is a uh, yeah, worldwide travel. You can travel across the world uh, for your work. Uh, you can uh, design a bridges. You can uh, you can sit here and you can design a bridges at the New York. You can design a bridges at the, uh, California, whatever it may be. And you can you can also move over that. So you will get the plenty of opportunities and the creativity. Uh, the creativity innovations. We are developing the innovations again. The new innovations. The creativity. I will uh, discuss at the, uh, discuss in detail at the end of my presentation. And finally, leaving a mark in the world. Suppose you are constructing a building that will represent your name, that will denote your name. If you construct a building, means they will say it has been constructed. If there is a bridge, they will say that this has been constructed by, uh, by this engineer. So the finally is uh, leaving a mark in the world. This is a very important thing. Uh, and when you come for the career opportunities in the civil engineering, uh, you can go for the surveying. Survey is it is a vast area. The surveying is about the how the land survey has been done, where the building has been located, all these things. This is the first opportunity you have. And the next thing is the CAD engineering. In the CAD engineering, you can go for the design of the building, that is for the planning the building, or for if you want to draw the plan of yeah, any bridges, all these things, it can be done, uh, done by the CAD engineers. And the third one is the architects. The architects is a very, very important thing. These architects will be uh, the designing the buildings how the infrastructure should be here, all these things is done by the architects. And also, you can also work as a site engineer. Okay, this uh, site, if you wish to be the site engineer, you can uh, inspect the works which is going on. That also can be part of that. And the transportation engineering is uh, again dealing with this about the how the road has to be formed, what is the width of the road, all these things. Okay, will come under the transportation engineering. And next one is the uh, water, water engineering is about the water quality analysis is about the environmental issues and also you can start your own construction business okay uh, you need not to be a uh, if you if you don't wish to work you can be the you can also be the entrepreneur and also you can start your uh, own construction business also and there are plenty of opportunities are available in the government okay if you go for the uh, ongc if you go for the bill uh, if you go for the nlc if you go for the central government board uh, if you go for the central waters commission there are plenty of opportunities available for the civil engineers. And also, if you wish, you can go for the higher studies. So many of our students are uh, going for the higher studies after completing a BTEC civil engineering abroad. And also, after completing your higher studies, that is, if you are pursuing your MS after your MTech, you can also go for the R&D, that is, the research and development also. So, uh, I want to emphasize here that it is not only if you think about that the civil engineering, the civil engineering means they have to be go in the site and they has to work. It's not like that. Okay, the fourth point that is a site engineer is the only uh, position you have to go to the site and you have to work there. Apart from this, this surveyor, CAD engineering, architects, transportation engineering, water engineering, all these things, uh, 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 it, uh, you can work with the softwares. That means you can, uh, that, uh, similar to the uh, software companies, you can sit and you can work over here. There are so many software has been available. That software are available in our uh, civil engineering uh, school of civil engineering VAT itself. Uh, now this VAT mainly focus on the teaching learning process and uh, under research to move up in the world ranking. This is our main motto. Uh, now when you come for the school of civil engineering maestro, it has been established. The year 1984 that is nearly we are going to cross the 40 years uh, by the next year uh, and next we has been uh, created by the NAC by 2003 2009 2015 as well as the 2000 
2021. We have been accredited by the Energy Institute UK by the year 2006, and we have been uh, our program has been accredited by the NBA by the year 2009. And we have started our civil engineering at the Chennai campus by the year 2011. And we have been about we have also been about accredited by the year 2008 and the 2014. And the NABL accreditation for the strength of materials lab. In the strength of materials lab, we will test the properties of the steel. It has been uh, accredited by the NABL uh, three times. That is by 2018-2020 as well as by the year. 2023 and we are in this these world subject ranking which i have been mentioned in the previous slide by the year 2021 we are in the 5, uh, 501 to 600 these are our milestones uh, from this you can note, uh, note that we have been accredited by the many agencies uh, this is our organization structure uh, school of civil engineering is a dean is dr a shanti madam and we are having two departments one is the department of environmental water resource engineering myself is the head of the department and next one is the department of structural and geotechnical engineering dr a prithu kumar is the head of the department uh, uh, these are our academic experts from the structural and geotechnical engineering uh, most of the faculties has completed their uh, mtech as well as phd program from the reputed institutes uh, next time coming for the uh, academic experts of the environmental water resource engineering here, here you can find the faculty members uh, are from the diverse specializations with the, you can work with the various specializations uh, in addition we are having the adjunct faculties usually we will uh, uh, for the summer courses it will be handled by the adjunct faculties members usually during the summer or during the the winters also the adjunct faculties will visit our school and they will take subjects for the undergraduate program so that the undergraduate program will have students will have the more exposures and they can interact with them and possibly they can they also collaborate with them uh, some undergraduate students are doing the collaboration uh, with the Dongkuk university uh, south korea uh, dr busi kang visited our uh, school by the uh, last semester and he has interacted with handled the subject hydrology and he has interacted with some other students and some students are working collaborative uh, work with the Dhaka University South Korea uh, these are all the various laboratory facilities we are having structural engineering lab in the structural engineering lab we will go for the testing of the loads uh, testing the loads of the beam as well as the columns and next is concrete 3d printing lab it is a very recent innovative technology which we are working on the process development it is also the research lab uh, and next one is the advanced strength of materials and the strength of materials lab here we will test the properties of the steel and geotechnical engineering lab in the geotechnical engineering lab we will work on the we will work on the properties we will find out the properties of the soil rock everything and civil engineering computing center we are having so many so softwares which i will discuss in the next slide and environmental engineering lab we will go for the analysis of the water sample and the sediments all this over there the fluid machinery lab is us usually may usually we will go for the analysis uh, anal analysis of the uh, what is the discharge of the water what is the velocity of the water velocity of the air all these things will be done in the fluid machinery lab and next is the survey lab. In the survey lab, we will uh, uh, we will uh, measure the area of the land and we will locate uh, locate the regions. In the survey lab, we are having the lidar that is a very re recent uh, advanced technique which is used to for the uh, surveying the area uh, without using the chains everything. Uh, and next one is the non-destructive testing lab. In this non-destructive uh, test, in the non-destructive testing lab, we will analyze the structure that is the strength of the structure without disturbing the structure. And the transportation engineering lab, we will check the properties of the bitumen everything. The concrete technology lab is is it is nothing but it is used to determine the strength of the concrete. And the final thing is the heritage lab which we are having. This heritage lab is used to find out the. Uh, age of the very old structures very old uh, heritage uh, structures uh, we are very proud to say that uh, more 90 percent of the lab which i have displayed is under the part of the uh, ug curriculum we have designed the curriculum in such a way this 90 percent of the lab is uh, for the ug students so you can use the use this lab and we can get the more exposure to that Uh, these are all our, uh, 
these are our major research facilities. Uh, the first one is the loading frame. The second picture is the uh, 3D printing. And this third one is the our concrete, uh, sorry, uh, civil computing center. And the fourth one is our advanced synthetic materials lab. Um, and this is the this is the environmental lab. And the second picture is the fluid machinery lab. And the third one is the transportation lab. These are the major research facilities which are having uh, the shake table, such by this geophysical uh, equipment. So it, it, you can determine the by the waves you can the, determine the groundwater table and all. This is the lidar I have told about you. Uh, this is the light detection and the raging which is available with us. And the next one is the non-destructive testing. Without disturbing the structure, you can determine the strength of the structure. And this is a loading frame with the actuator. Uh, these are the major uh, software available in the civil engineering, the Statro, AutoCAD, ATAPS, Abacus, Plaxis, Primavera, Architects, Engineering, Construction, Won't Click LC. This Statro, we are, AutoCAD, we are having the, even the commercial license. Uh, this Statro, AutoCAD, ETAPS, Abacus, all these things we are contacting the value added program for. It, it is in the curriculum. In addition to that, we are also contacting the value added program for the undergraduate students. This plaques is also we are conducting the value added program. So far, we are conducting the value added pro program to the undergraduate students. Uh, usually, we will organize uh, the workshop conference on the guest lectures and the industrial expert lectures. Um, uh, the we are very happy with that. Our undergraduate students also will, ta uh, will take uh, part in this conference and they will publish the papers. Uh, you can see that uh, industry expert lecture we conducted two zero two. So this is the opportunity where undergraduate students will discuss with the industry experts. We will uh, bring the industry experts and we will conduct the lectures for the students. So they will have the discussion with them uh, and they will also collaborate with them. And most of the students get the internship opportunities and even some students have got the job opportunities for them. So this will be the good platform for the students to interact with the industrial peoples. In addition, we will organize the guest lectures. This is from the academia and the hackathon events and also the uh, seminar workshops as well as. So our main motto organizing this program is to uh, interact with the, in addition to the academic activities, which we are doing, which uh, classroom activities, you, the students will have more exposures. And also we are organizing the foreign expert lectures. So they will have the more exposures more with the industrial peoples and the foreign uh, expert, academic experts out of the foreign industrial peoples so that they, in future they will have the collaborative activities with them. Uh, this is the Water Conservation Week we have organized by the last uh, the last ma March. And this is a recent workshop. This is a PSC T-beam and the PSC box filter bridges at the, the Midas. And also one day workshop on the later technology for the <coughs> civil engineering applications. These are the recent activities in the last academic year. And also uh, this uh, hackathons, we are all the hackathons, industrial visits, field visit, and the guest lectures by the industry academic experts. This I have explained to you in the earlier slide itself. Uh, this hackathons, we, we will give some uh, problems on the, on the design of thought, on the build of thought. We will give some problems to the undergraduate students, and they will find a solution for that uh, within the 24 hours as well as for the 48 hours. Uh, our under, all the undergraduate students very they are very eager in participating in that. All the students will participate in these kind of activities. So there is the uh, more knowledge sharing will be there. And also for each semester we will take the industrial visit to the places which is related to uh, led to our uh, studies. This is the industrial visit, and also uh, we will have the field visit also. Um, by the last year, our undergraduate students has been selected by the uh, ASAT Youth uh, UAC scheme, and they have visited the Atal Tunnel. I hope most of you have heard about the Atal Tunnel. They have visited the Atal Tunnel in the Himachal Pradesh. This is the student projects uh, which have been done in the staff room. And we are having the semester abroad program. Uh, in this semester abroad program, uh, these are the few sample photographs I have kept here. Uh, in this semester abroad program, the students can do their internship in the uh, universities which we have collaborated, or the students also can uh, do the internship in the US, uh, uh, sorry, in the QS uh, cracking within 500 universities. 
uh, recently also our uh, one of our students uh, he, she's currently working in the rit that is rosas institute of technology new york uh, they, she's doing the caption uh, projects in the uh, rit for in this academic in, the, in this academic, current academic year uh, you can either go for the caption that is a final year project otherwise you can also do some credit transfer uh, with the universities which we have collaboration and you can complete your degree there also uh, this is our uh, publications uh, by the faculty members uh, as well as uh, not only the research scholars and the postgraduate students the btech students also that is undergraduate students also play a significant registration role in our publications this is the overall publications of our faculty members uh, this is the uh, 2023 it is uh, still it is up to 27 uh, usually the final year projects the capsule projects which the students are doing they will uh, uh, they will publish jointly publish papers with the faculty members so that it will be added advantage when you go for the higher studies and when you go for the uh, research and development activities they will publish uh, journals with the impact factor very high impact factor that is usually more than three out of four Uh, these are the consultancy projects and the testings. These are our major clients. Uh, National Highway Authority of India, Southern Railways, Tamil Nadu Water Supply and Drainage Board, Water Resources Department, Government of Tamil Nadu, Eco Services, LNT, Shapurji, Rohan Builders, Disguise Constructions, Unico, Spirit so, America, BNB Developers. These are our major uh, consultancy projects which our faculty members are working over that. Uh, in addition to that, we are also doing some extension activities related to the social issues. Uh, uh, here uh, you can find that uh, the first figure you can find the recommending the safety improvements for the road accident hotspot locations where the road accident happens the possibility is there it is identifying that and finding the solution for that and identification of the accident hotspots in the Velu district is done by one of our faculty member that is the doctor or something more the first figure is done by the doctor Sashanka. and we also conduct the skill development program for the construction workers uh, and skill development uh, the program for the women workers in the construction industry. These are the various activities which we are involved in the social issues. Uh, some BTEC students are, uh, they will also voluntarily, they will involved in these activities uh, so that they will have the more exposure uh, in this uh, field. Uh, they are getting the, uh, uh, they are getting the training uh, uh, by this, during this degree itself. These are the various MOS and collaborations which we are having. Uh, our students will go for these international collaborations which are having. Our students will go with the, with the collaborators. They usually go with the internship offers with, with the stipend or itself. These are our major recruiters. LNDA, Campbell Smith, Dalvia, UHP, AC, Atkins. These are all the major recruiters. Uh, usually the students uh, progression higher studies they are in for the Stanford University National University of uh, Singapore the University of California the University of Saskatchewan Georgia Institute of Technology Arizona State University as well as the University of States our uh, PTEC civil engineering students are pursuing their higher studies in these uh, institutes uh, these are our distribution alumni and find over here Now I will just I will take a few minutes and I will explain about the few miracles by our civil engineers. Uh, I hope you are all aware of this Palm Island. Okay, uh, this Palm Island is in the Dubai, which consists of the three islands. In order to increase the shoreline, okay, in order to increase the shoreline, they have constructed this uh, Palm Island. And next one is a Parliament building in the Hungary. In this Parliament building, which is have the one of the major archit architecture success, uh, all of us are wondering about this. We are having the two halls. Uh, one is for the parliament activities and next one will they will conduct for the conferences or some, or something uh, this is a paternal strength tower malaysia this is a very uh, uh, skyscraper building which consists of 88 floors uh, with the multi-level uh, parking it is in the malaysia and the downed hotel it is also one of you can find out the how the architects have designed okay this is a very very uh, uh, everyone are, have been wondered about this architecture it consists of the three building it is on the Tayu lake uh, this is a downed hotel in the China, and this is a Katibara Junction, uh, which is in the Chennai. Uh, without uh, the, it is having it is 
next uh, four, it, it connects the four roads it is in the alandur uh, it is the this katipara junction is the important road junction is the chennai and it is also one of the largest it's not one of the largest it is the largest clover leaf uh, bridges in the south asia and the next one is the hoover dam uh, this hoover dam which is in the located in the usa is the concrete arch gravity dam and the milo viaduct this is the tallest bridge in the france and the bay bridge in the china this is the it is a, you, you see there this is a 36 km it is the largest transoceanic bridges in the world uh, and there is a gailang tunnel in the taihan mountains uh, which connects the taila uh, gailang with the outer regions which is with they you can see over here they have constructed the uh, tunnel inside they inside the mountains itself okay this is also the very one of the Uh, important structures so there have been so many wonders you can do as a civil engineers these are all the opportunities available thank you thank you so much for the wonderful insights about all the civil and all what is happening in the school of civil engineering so if you could take a few minutes to explain that uh, so btech civil engineering and also we do offer something in the minor in the csc and data science like three programs we do offer in the minor no sir yes can sir, you just sir. yes sir. can you please just take two minutes or five minutes ah, to yes, explain yes, yes sir uh, see we are offering the three minors program uh, that is btech uh, civil engineering with the data science btech civil engineering with the machine learning and the btech civil engineering with the artificial intelligence the students can study uh, this any of these minor programs uh, because everything has been the world has been advanced and they are more moving towards the uh, codings uh, even if you are the civil engineers it is necessary for you to use the codings you are using the autocad or uh, you are in the autocad you can interface uh, coding with the python uh, uh, so that you can do some uh, something new so many interfaces the coding is necessary so that we are offering that three minors programs as i told these three minors programs uh, also you can study uh, in your sixth sixth semester the seventh semester and the as well as the eighth semester for studying this minor you have to choose five uh, subjects uh, which has been prescribed five elective which has been prescribed suppose you want to study the data science you have to study five subjects which is related to the data science if you uh, if you want to study with five subjects which is uh, related to the Uh, machine learning means you have to study the prescribed five subjects so that you can get your subject b tech civil engineering minor in data science the, this option is also that we are having three uh, programs three minor programs also so there is a chat like uh, what is the benefit of taking a minors oh, yes. Uh, so as I told earlier, uh, everything the the world has been advanced. Uh, wherever you are going, you you have to be uh, updated. Uh, without the programming, the program knowledge plays a vital a vital role. Not only in civil engineering, we go for any the engineering. Uh, this programming plays a vital role. So that if you go for the higher studies, so you are getting the additional knowledges on the. Uh, computer applications so this minor will help you helpful to you if you go for the higher studies other also if you go for the design companies uh, design companies requires the uh, computer applications uh, computer application. if you go for the uh, design companies and all this minor program will be surely helpful for you there was a question on how data science or machine learning will complement civil Dr. Nagendra, can you just elaborate on that? Uh, yes, yes. How data science or machine learning will? So I would say, for example, transportation analytics. You can start with that, and uh, probably how to design and uh, from the data uh, analyzing, yeah, identifying yes, yes. factors, yes, and all you can. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, uh, Sanjay, uh, I will address to you. Uh, suppose you are uh, going for the. <coughs> I will tell you the very simple. If you go for the. a rainfall analysis if you want to go for the rainfall analysis the rainfall analysis that is conventional method is there but recently if you the machine learning applications if you use for the rainfall the, the machine learning there are uh, so many methods are there uh, i hope you are uh, you are studied in your school itself uh, that is random forest method 
uh, CNN method. If you use this, any of this method, it will give the accurate data to you. This was about the uh, uh, rainfall analysis. So it is it will be the added advantage more than the conventional method. Uh, as Sar pointed out, you can also it can be also in the transport analytics also uh, for designing uh, for designing the bridges, whatever it may be. It it can also be used in the water quality analysis for predicting the water quality analysis. The machine learning is at most important. Uh, so uh, this computer applications uh, along with the conventional method uh, will play, uh, are playing a significant role in our recent technology. So that's what we are going with this minus. What is the difference? Sir, I have a doubt. Oh, tell me. Uh, sir, is that we need to choose the minor courses now itself while selecting the choice or uh, shall we choose core now and after the, and the fifth semester shall we choose that uh, minor program? Uh, yes, sir, you can have the opportunity, but you have to uh, give it now and you have to study the subjects by the fifth semester, sixth semester and the seventh semester. Okay. Uh, which minor is good for civil? Uh, it's up to you. Uh, you are uh, in which field you will to work, which field yes, you are going for the score and uh, after and that the sixth semester shall I decide to go for minus? Yes, sir. Yes, 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 sir. Okay, so you, can take, you can take it now or later also. Or if you take now, uh, we won't force you to continue the minor also. You can switch the minor to some other programs also based on your interest you develop during the course of study. Thank you. Thank you. Which minor is good for sir. civil, sir? So, what is the average package in civil? Uh, it is uh, two lakhs, sir. Uh, Mr. Arnav, it, I'm sorry, the presentation cannot be shared, but whatever you have seen, you could have taken some notes on that. Uh, the last year, the last year, one of our students have placed in the uh, salary of highest salary of 25.3 lakhs. Uh, which minor is good for civil? Uh, Kalyan sir, it's, it's up to you. Uh, you are interested in working in which field, you can choose uh, choose over that. Is learning a new language most data now collected through sensors and knowing how to analyze it? data now collected through sensors and know how to analyze so any questions uh, so far none i think so if there are no more questions probably we may close this session I thank Dr. Mahendran and also the participants for making this seminar or webinar live. Thank you very much and wish you all the best in your career. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Dr. Mahendran, there are some more questions. Probably you can answer those things also. Uh -huh. Conventional building will be learn modern structures too. Uh, yes, Bob, you can learn. Uh, you can learn because the basics will be under the conventional. Uh, basics will be under the conventional building. Uh, in addition, also we are having the model structures. Also, you, are, you, you can learn over that because we are having the courses uh, such as we initially have the concrete technology. If the students wish to learn some modern techniques, we are having the elective as the advanced concrete technology so that they will learn over to the modern techniques also. It's not only to the mechanical technology, every subject we are having the active structure. Strength materials we are having the advanced strength materials. Structural analysis we are having the advanced structural analysis in that which will have the modern techniques. Uh, please tell me about more job opportunities. Uh, we, we are having or no, we are having the plenty of job opportunities as I told you. Uh, because uh, the the field is not limited. It is not constrained. I have, to, I have given only the few glimpses to you over, over the job opportunities. You can have over the, there are plenty of opportunities are available for the civil engineers. Uh, you can have with the site engineer or if you work for the design engineers, you can work over here. Um, and also there are so many MNCs are there. 
that you can find out there otherwise if you wish to work in the government uh, government also there are plenty of job opportunities available in the government also Any other questions, please? Students, any question, please? Uh, what is the highest package? As you, just now I have told you the highest package is 25.3 lakhs. There are no questions. Probably we can close and meet again in the afternoon for the mechanical branches. Okay, sir. And thank you, sir. Thank you for providing this opportunity. Thank you, Dr. Thank, sir. thank you, okay. colleagues, thank you, students, participants. Just closing the meeting. Thank you, sir. Would you please close the meeting? Okay, sir.